What's going on guys, it's Garrett, and I want to say thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers, and in honor of 10,000 subscribers, I have a lot of stuff coming out on my channel, I have a Q&A coming out, I have a really, really awesome video being edited by one of my friends, but uh, today's video we're going to be going over one of my most viewed videos, and that's going to be a mascot text tutorial. So if you guys haven't already watched my first one, I did a very simplistic one, and uh, it did very, very well, and it has over 38,000 views, 682 likes, 18 dislikes, really, really well, the best viewed channel or best viewed video on my channel. So I thought that we redo it, and this time we're going to do it with a longer text and a more in-depth version to make it a lot cleaner. So right here I have two examples for you guys. I have this word iconic and I have this word the rusty rebel. So this one is for a client that I did actually a little bit ago and this one is also for a client I did a long time ago. So we're gonna be going over, excuse me, how to do a style more so like this which is gonna be really easy and really amazing to do. So all you wanna do right away is go over to Google and just make it a, or excuse me, go to your uh, Photoshop and make a file and just make a size, you know, 1920 by 1080 or something around those lines. And you only want to do is make that background black. So it goes, we're going to be working with white and gray text, which is going to be really easy to do with a white background or excuse me, a black background. So uh, all you want to do is just click in here and you want to type in your text. So in this case, we're going to type in bear and then design. So for this video, I'm going to use capital B and D for bear design. And uh, we're not going to use this font. What we're going to do is we're going to go through our fonts and try to find the best one. I'm actually going to be using this font called Aero. It's A-E-R-O. There's going to be a link in the description for it. And this is a really easy font to work with for um, logo design and for mascot text especially. So all you want to do right now after you're done kind of picking your text is open up that size document right here. And just kind of mess with that V slash A which is going to be your width of your letters, your spacing. And uh, around negative probably 35 is going to work perfectly for me. We don't want to go too crazy with this. So after you know with that, you guys can make it bigger just so you have a more high quality PNG when you guys want to put it into things. And this can be used for mascot design. This guys, you guys can use this literally for anything, um, apparel, business cards, however you want to use it. So all you want to do now, if you guys want to do it two ways, I'm going to teach you guys both ways on how to do this. And uh, all you want to do is right click under your text and go to blending options and this is going to be the first way to kind of make that split color. If you go to gradient overlay and click on these gradients right here, it's going to bring you up into these big menus and you're going to click on them and you're going to see that these kind of colors change and also colors are added. So all you want to do is kind of click around and you want to click until you get to this one which means is that there's going to be kind of a split. It's going to go one and then two very close to each other and then one away. There's um. There's another one that does it, but I would stick with just this one. And all I want to do is delete that extra color that was right there and bring these more close together. So now that you guys have that, you guys want to realize which one is on the bottom, which one's on the top. It's usually the left side is on the bottom and then the right side is on the top. So all I want to do is click that left side. And you want to grab just a nice gray color. And uh, don't make it too gray because you're going to have to be adding color itself. So I'm doing one with the B E B E B E. That's my color code. I'm only gonna do is hit Control C on that, which is gonna copy it. Click your white color on that swatch and do, just paste it in. And then of course, go on that other color and drag it a lot brighter. So after you're done with that, you guys can literally go back into this and actually change the color. So let's say that's a little too dark for yourself. You can go back and change it. So I'm actually going to change it so it has a nice little gradient so it goes a little bit darker up to that kind of brighter color. It kind of creates a nice um, contrast and it kind of creates a nice effect. So after you're done with this whole thing, all you want to do is click that stroke and you want to put a stroke on the inside of your text and put the size down to about 6 or 5 depending on how your font size is. And just click with your little eyedropper tool right in the middle of your text. It's going to create a nice little drop. So now that you have that done. This can be either step one, you guys can do this a lot of different ways and what you get out you can do to kind of bring out another stroke because you want to copy something is you guys can click outer glow and put it on normal and this is actually just a really sloppy way to do it. I don't copy right now when I'm doing this but this is just a very sloppy way to do it if you want to keep that stroke going. But uh, in this case tutorial what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back to the stroke and go to the position and we're going to put it on the outside and we're going to make a color just a very dark gray. And don't make it too dark so it kind of covers the background, but make it dark enough that you're going to know what to do. So maybe that dark, and we're going to put it to a size about 18 or so. Don't make it too big because we're going to be putting a lot of other strokes on it. Maybe even 20 would work perfectly fine. 
So after you're done with this, all you want to do is hit Control J on this text, which you're going to duplicate it, make a new layer, hold Shift, click that original copy, and then hit Control E, which is going to merge it onto a new layer. And then you want to hit Control T, and then you want to hit Control R. So that's a lot of things you guys just went over. I would just kind of slow the video down and pay attention to that. And now you're going to do is just grab these rulers and drag them down to pretty much make them the perfect angle and size. So you want to drag one of the the bottom of the text and one into the kind of text obviously my bottom right for this text and for that text is going to be different because i have a drop all you gotta do is hit Control e and now you guys can just zoom in and you guys can change where that ruler position is that i've done this a while so my ruler position's actually done really well so now that you guys have this really easily all you want to do is basically outline this text by yourself so we're going to do this actually a very nice way so all you want to do first as I said before, is just kind of zoom in and make sure these rulers are everywhere on top of this text. So we're actually going to make just a very, very easy kind of square. We're going to click this polygon tool and just grab it. And then you're going to just hold shift and make one big rectangle covering the bottom of the text so that there's no kind of jump up and jump up in uh, like the curves and stuff around the S's, the E's, the D's, etc. And what color you can make it, you guys can make it a darker version of that gray. It necessarily does not matter in all. It's going to be the same thing. So you guys can deselect it. Um, You guys can literally do whatever you want. You can make it whatever color. I want to make it a darker gray because I'm going to be changing the color later on. So now that you guys have that, you guys are going to need to work with actually creating the colors and stuff like this now. So the easiest way to do this is just copying one side of, let's just say, a very large letter like a D and making one kind of master copy of this angle. So all I want to do is make a new layer and then paste in the same color that you've been using, that dark gray, and put it above your text. And then we're going to start with the B first. We're going to work from left to right. So all we're going to do is bring that kind of um, angle that we created and line it up with the side of that B and put it below the text. And so you guys can see it. So if you take off that stroke or you take that off that text, it's going to be back up to basics. So. Let me do this for you guys. Take that stroke off. And you're going to have that kind of angle. And we're going to be filling this all in later. So again, all I want to do is just keep basically adding that gray so it's on the same angle. All you want to do is hit Control J. And all you want to do is that left side first. You're going to work on the right side a little later. So just keep hitting Control J and bringing those angles all the way over to the sides. It's going to create a very awesome text. So... We got that going. And then sometimes you guys are going to jump into these kind of runs where you're going to have to go down a, a step. All you have to do is hit Control J and bring it down and then bring it over to the side again. And then you guys can take your little cutout tool and just cut out that thing hitting Control X. So now that you guys have that done, the next step you want to do is actually make it on the right side. So without you guys knowing, it is actually the same exact angle, but it's just flipped the other way. So you want to make the same angle, and instead of holding shift and going right this time, we're going to want to go left. And of course, all you want to do is make a new layer and fill it in with the same color. Don't make it too big, of course, because you're going to have to move it around quite a bit. So I want to just line this up with everything else. And all you want to do is you want to keep the kind of curves on like the D and the B's the same. But for these I's where you can see that's a straight angle, you want to just keep that down. Same thing right here when you have this big end text. Excuse me. Just keep it the same. So we're going to take it out like that. And really, you guys basically are almost done with your text. Believe it or not, this does not go much farther. So all I want to do is basically take this, all these um, gray colors that you did, and just merge them all together. And then you guys can basically do one of two things. You guys can just zoom in and then click right here and this fill in all of that extra kind of stuff that you missed. In this case, it's going to be all of this. Just merge and fill. And then you guys are going to have this text and then sometimes if you guys minimize the text you're not going to have those curves so what you did with the text how you duplicated it all you want to do is right click go back to blending options go to your stroke and actually make that stroke the same exact color as the one that you did the outline so now that you guys did that outline you're going to see if you hit Control h you're going to have a really sleek looking text like this it's going to look really really nice 
and all you want to do now is basically duplicate that text and then you guys can do one of two things you guys can merge it all together but what I like doing is duplicating this moving it down and then grouping these two and what grouping these two is going to come perfectly make myself a copy just in case I mess up and I'm gonna just duplicate that one layer so it's one big layer and merge it all together so now that I have that done all I want to do now is go to blending options and go to stroke and go to outside of course bring down that size and then you guys can make it whatever color you'd like so let's say for this we're gonna make it a blue color so sometimes if you do this some sides won't be even some strokes won't even be even you guys can tell by sometimes it's a little choppy all you have to do is highlight it and kind of cut out the uh, a little bit like a little layer of the uh, dark gray and it'll just perfectly size itself out and now that you guys have that done what you can do is you basically can make your own color so or make your own background so you guys can just grab this maybe grab that blue color and make a very dark version of it and we're gonna make a very very quick very quick showcase so let's just gonna grab a blue kind of light leak from one of my packs and we can just leave it around like this and let's say we're gonna grab just black and I'm gonna do this very quickly for you guys to show you guys what it would look like I'm adding these black bars just in case you guys want to uh, basically only showcase that one section of the one section of the mascot logo so basically you guys can have text like this and if you want to show it to your friend and be like yo look what I just made check it out you know it's really dope all you have to do is take your print screen highlight this one section and I'll show you guys what it looks like once you paste it into your URL it's actually gonna look really really sick you guys are gonna be able to show off to all your friends and once you're done with that basically look at that it's a very very sleek text but basically now that you guys have that done let's just say you want to take it another step further let's say you guys want to be able to change the color let's say you're not very happy with the color and you merged it all layers and you're like kind of stumped now now you don't want to make it over again so you guys have to do something else all you have to do right now is click this little adjustment layer right here and go to hue and saturation and if you guys mess with this hue right here you guys can actually change the color of the text itself you guys can make a really cool kind of effect with this and you guys can do whatever you'd like so really quickly I'm gonna show you guys a little effect that I've done my personally so all I'm gonna do is delete that kind of hue and saturation layer that I've done and I'm gonna just merge that uh, logo that we just made I'm gonna delete everything except for that bottom grouping and we're gonna get right to work so all you want to do is basically grab that logo that you just made hit control U on it after it's all merged and we're going to drag it over to a very nice red color. Mine's a negative 180. We're going to hit Control J on it, hit Control U, and we're going to drag it all the way to the right so it's kind of a nice yellow. And we're going to grab an eraser tool, put it on a size like around 400, maybe 500, and we're just going to erase. And we can erase like this. Maybe not do it so hard. Just kind of erase sections like that. And you're gonna have a really really awesome text you guys can merge this together hit control u again you guys can change the color so it can be like a nice blue and purple feel nice orange and yellow feel and then all you have to do right now is duplicate it grab that bottom layer again hold alt and hold shift and just make it bigger and then you guys can grab a perspective um sometimes if you guys use that perspective tool it's going to be a little out of reach so grab the perspective just angle a little bit and we're gonna just make a nice little showcase once again for you to show to your friends and you guys can basically do this maybe lower the opacity a little bit you guys can add a little drop shadow make a new layer just kind of add things like this guys you know it's gonna be really nice to show to your friends and show off and even show to your clients or maybe even do it for a speedway something like that in general you're gonna be using this a lot in your life so all you have to do is grab a very large brush probably like a size maybe 700 I want to go above a thousand but sometimes I have to I would just type in 900 and you can do is just make a nice layer right there again grab your print screen or grab something and only showcase that logo copy it and let's say we're gonna paste it in and then you can show it to your friend that you just did it this way you're gonna show it to your client your buddy your family but uh, basically that's gonna be it for the tutorial just showing you guys how to use a very sleek looking text 
and uh, you can do this so many different ways it does not limit to just this way it can go on and on for a bunch of times so this is going to be it for the tutorial as i said before thank you all for so much for 10,000 subscribers i really hope you guys enjoy the daily uploads and everything like that excuse me you guys have helped me grow in so much I, you know, I'm just without words, honestly, you know. I try to make these videos as frequently as possible, as fast as possible, and the amount of support that you guys give me on my channel, just, it makes me so happy. So as I said before, guys, thank you guys so much for 10,000 subscribers. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys did, leave a thumbs up. Maybe this can break 10,000 views on this video like we broke 38,000 on the other one. I'm sure this video is going to do just as well as the other one did. And as I said before, guys, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed tweet at me your work and everything like that and as i said before guys enjoy your summer have a nice day and i'll see you guys later on peace out